of living God. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for this opportunity once again. Our Lord is a faithful God. He is the God of goodness, the faithful one, the one who has honored us, and the one who answered us by fire, and he answered us by goodness. We thank him for another opportunity. We thank him for another privilege that he has given us to speak on his behalf. And I want to thank all of you too, those who have been there, listening, the listeners, because without you, we have no one to preach to. We thank God for you. We welcome all of us to this service, and I know, I believe by the end of it all, the Lord will bless all of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are most welcome. Share it with others. As you keep on tuning in, share it with others. May let others also join. And let us be blessed all together. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin by the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the mighty and everlasting God, the King of all the glory, the all-sufficient God, the master of the universe, the one that cannot change, the one that cannot be dethroned, the one that cannot be compared with any other God. Receive all the glory and all the honor. You alone is God to be worshipped. You alone is God to be lifted. Your name is exalted all above all other names. You are the God that cannot change. You are changeable. You, are, you cannot change. You are the God with different forms, but cannot be formed, was not formed. You created both earth and heaven, but you are never created. We thank you, the all-powerful one. Nobody can think like you. You are beyond our thinking. We thank you. Take over this service, mighty Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, it is your service. It is your service. Take over in the mighty name of Jesus. Ride over me today. Carry me today in the name of Jesus. Take my mind captive. Take my, 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 my mind captive. My mouth captive. Take my heart captive. Because they are on your own. They are your own. That you may, you may take in the captive. That may you use them in the mighty name of Jesus. May they be of your use in the mighty name of Jesus. May everything that will come out of me, may it, from, may it come from you direct in the mighty name of Jesus. May the word that I will speak today will not fall on the ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch my lips. Concentrate, consecrate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. We promise to give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This week, this Friday, this night, we are going to talk about we are talking about celebration, the congratulation. We are still in the mood of congratulation. We are still in the mood of congratulation. Last week, on last Friday, we talked about congratulation. Even this week, we are still talking about congratulation. But this week, I want to talk about something different, uh, about congratulation. But I'm talking, my subtopic in congratulation is, this far I am not giving up. This far I am not giving up. Tell your neighbor, this far I am not giving up. This far, I am not. This far, I am not giving up. Child of God, the far you have come from, you are not supposed to give up. The far you have come from, you are not supposed to give up. Imagine, or imagine you are you are you are you are, you are uh, thirty years or maybe forty years, and you are giving up. You are giving up, and the, 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 in, in our secular world, we work for about 60 years uh, or, 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 or 55. So you are already 30 and you're giving up. Where you have come from is far much better than where you're going. Where you're going is still what? It's near. So don't give up. Amen. Where you're going is near. Child of God, do not give up. Giving Amen. up should be the last option. And that one should not be an option at all. Praise the living God. Amen. When the Lord has promised you something, his promise will stand. It will never change. Then that is why the Bible says what? He does not change. He's not the son of man that will what? That will repent. He's not the son of man that will say things and not, does not come to pass. What God has said according to his word will must come to pass. Praise Amen. the living God. Amen. There is continue moving, continue doing what you're doing. We read in the scripture last week and said that what? Whatever your hand find to do, do it with all your might. Because what? At the end of it all, 
the, 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 but, but, but after you have suffered for a while, the Lord will what will establish you. Praise the living God. Amen. This week we are going to talk about our my scripture, my my, my, my anchor scripture is the book in the book of First uh, Samuel chapter nine, verse number five. First Samuel chapter nine, verse number five. That is my anchor scripture. But we are going to begin from verse number three. Praise the living God. Amen. Child of God, you can look. You can be suffering for years. You can search for something for years. You can look for something for years. You can be in, in seeking for something for years. But I'm telling you, when you are almost giving up, that is when the Lord is coming. I pray that may you not give up. Amen. Say, I will not give up. I will not. I will not, not this far I have come from is the Lord that has brought me. Is the Lord that has guided me. Is this grace that has sustained me. I will not give up. This far I have come from. I will not what? Give up. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Open the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse number 3. 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse number 3. 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse number 3. Let's go all the way to verse number 21. And the Bible says, uh -huh. And the asses of Kish Saul's father mm -hmm. were lost. Mm -hmm. And Kish said to Saul his son, mm -hmm. Take now one of the servants with you, mm -hmm. and arise, mm -hmm. go seek the asses. Mm -hmm. And he passed through the Mount Ephraim, mm -hmm. and passed through the land of Shalisha, mm -hmm. but they found them not. Mm -hmm. Then they passed through the land of Shalim, mm -hmm. and there they went, they were not. Mm -hmm. And he passed through the land of the Benjamites, mm -hmm. but they found them not. Mm -hmm. And then they came to the land of Zuf. Mm -hmm. Saul said to his servant, that was with him, Come and let us return, lest my father leave caring for the asses and take thought for us. And he said to him, Behold now, there is this city of a, a man of God, and he is an honorable man. All that he says comes to pass, comes surely to pass. Now let us go thither. Peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Saul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring to the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul again, and said, Behold, I have here a hand the fourth part of the shekel of silver, that will I give to the man of God. To tell us where on to tell us our way. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spoke, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Then said Saul to his servant, Well said, Come, let us go. So they went to the city where the man of God was. And they went up to the hill to the city. They found young maidens going out to draw water, and said to them, Is the seer here? And they answered them, and said, He is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he come today to, day to the city. For there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. As soon as you become into the city, you will straight away find him, before he go up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he comes, because he does he does bless the sacrifice, and afterwards they eat that be that be bidden. Now therefore get you up, for about this time you shall find him. And they went up into the city, and when they were come into the city, behold, Samuel came out against them, for to up for to go up to the high place. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow about this time I will send you a man out of the land of Benjamin, and you shall anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked on my people, because their cry is come to me. And when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said to him, Behold, the man whom I spoke to you of, this same shall reign over my people. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate, and said, Tell me, I pray you, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place, for you shall eat with me today, and tomorrow I will let you go, and will tell you all that is in your heart. And as for your asses that were lost three days ago, Set not your mind on them, for they are found. And on whom in is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on you and on all your father's house? 
And Saul answered and said, Am I am not I a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel, and my family the least of all the families of the tribes of Benjamin? Why then speak you so to me? And Samuel took Saul and his servant, and brought them into the parlor, and made them sit in the most chief place among them that were bidden, which were about thirty persons. And Samuel said to the cook, Bring the portion which I gave you, of which I said to you, Set it by you. And the cook took up the shoulder, and that which was on it, and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, Behold, that which is left, set it before you, and eat. For to this time has it been kept for you, since I said, I have invited the people. So Saul did eat with Samuel that day. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This scripture has taught me a lot today. When I look at the scripture from the from the chapter 9, verse number 3, the Bible said that the, the, the donkeys that the father has been looking for, the donkeys got lost, and the father looked for the donkeys, and these donkeys were not found. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this man called Saul went with the servant. They looked in different regions, about three regions. They searched for the donkeys they did not get. One region, for example, if you look at our nation right now, there is what they call Western Kenya region, there is Rift, and Rift Valley region, there is Central region, there is Northeastern region. If you call only take one region. I'm telling you, it takes take days before finishing. But then they finish how many days? They finish about three regions. And chapter 5. Read for me chapter 5. Chapter 5. No, verse number 5. Chapter 9, verse number 5. Mm -hmm. When they came into the region of Zoom. When they entered that region. Saul said to his servant. Saul said to the servant. Let's go back home. He got tired. Let's return home. I have searched for this donkey. This donkey, even my father looked for it, and it was not found. So he said, let us do what? Go back home. Go back home. Eh? Or my father might stop thinking about the donkeys and mm. start worrying about Now, my father is not going to think about donkey anymore. It is going to think about me. So let's go back home. You'll think, also think that even me, I'm lost. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. The servant answered, mm -hmm. wait. Wait. In this town, mm. there is a holy man who is highly respected. Because Child of God, what you need in life, you need a man with vision. Amen. You need a man that will encourage you. Amen. When you are in the verge of giving up, there should be a man. Don't walk with anyone. Walk with a man that goes the same direction. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Not every man will love what you're doing. Not every man, other people will see you that you're giving up. They'll be happy. They'll tell you, now, let's go back. So most of us, we have gone back because of our partners. Our partners have made us what? Go back. This man, the servant, had him saying what? Now, let's go back. We have searched it and we cannot get. There are people that have been looking for things for years. There are people that have been seeking God for years. There are people that have been seeking for job for years. There are people that have been looking for children for years. There are people that have been looking, searching for things for years. But they have reached a point, a verge of giving up. I am telling you today that you have come this far. Don't give up. Amen. You have come this far, don't give up. Amen. Saul was almost giving up, but the man, the servant did not give up. Amen. The servant said, no, we cannot give up. There is a seer. There is a man, child of God. When you are almost giving up, there is a seer. Amen. A seer will see you. Amen. Keep on focusing and keep on having vision. Please have a friend that has a vision. Amen. Some of us, our friend does not have visions. We are not working together. If you marry a woman that does not go the same way you are going, I'm telling you, you will fall. Yeah. If you marry a woman that does not understand your ministry, if you marry a woman that does not understand the business you are doing, my father, my brother, my sister, you are in trouble. You are in a big trouble. What you need to do, you need a man that can encourage you. When I am down, she can encourage me. When you are, uh, she's down, you can... Uh, please, let encourage one another. Yeah. Praise the living God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Continue. The is, servant answered, Yes. Wait. Mm, wait. Sit down. Mm. There is a holy man. I have heard about this man, a holy man. Who is highly respected mm. because everything he says comes mm. true. Mm. Let's go to him. Whom do you run for for the solutions? When things are tough, whom do you run to? Then they run to what? A holy man, a man of God, a seer, a prophet. But whom do you run to when things are hard? Some of us, we sought the witchcraft. We sought the mediums. When things are hard, 
whom do you run to? Praise the Lord. Amen. Then the, the, the servant told him that let don't give up. Let not go home. There is a servant here that anything he said, it will come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord give you a servant. Amen. May the Lord give you a servant. Amen. May the Lord open your eyes yes. to see a servant Amen. that will see for you, Amen. that will speak on your behalf, that anything he said will come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And maybe he can tell us where we can find the donkey. Maybe he can tell us. Uh -huh. If we go to him, mm -hmm. what can we give him? What can we give him? So it means the seer, when you go to the seer, you don't go free handed. Amen. Yeah? Yes. We don't ask. Yes. There is no food left in our packs. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a thing to give him. Mm -hmm. we? Yes. The servant answered, mm -hmm. I have a small silver coin. Mm -hmm. I can give him that. Child of God, when a time you're going to see the seer, it's not that you're going to benefit the seer. What you do, you're going to provoke the spirit. Amen. You are going, because the, 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 the soul asks, is, is, what are we going to give you? Because me, I don't have anything. So anytime you're going to the seer, you must provoke the spirit. You don't, you don't go to, it is not the seer that see. When you provoke the spirit, when you provoke the spirit behind the altar, the power behind the altar, and the altar begin to speak, Amen. and the seer will begin to see. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. So there are things that you must provoke. Amen. So they say that, let's provoke the spirit, so that the, God, the seer can see for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. And then he can tell us where we can find them. After we provoke the spirit, that is why some of us, our blessings are never, things never work for us. Because anytime you are going to the seer, you go like the way you are. And you don't provoke. It is not the seer you are taking to. You are provoking the spirit. As long as you have given, you have released the spirit, there is an exchange. Amen. Everywhere there is an exchange. Child of God, there are principles that we cannot evade. There are principles that we cannot go without. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Saul replied, mm. a good idea, mm -hmm. let's go. Mm. So they went to the town where the holy man lived. Mm -hmm. They met some young women who were coming out to draw water. Yes. They asked these women, mm. is the seer in town? Mm -hmm. At that time, a prophet was called a seer. Mm -hmm. And so whenever someone wanted to go ask God a question, mm -hmm. he would say, let's go to the seer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes, he is. Mm. The young women answered. Mm -hmm. In fact, he is just ahead of you. He is just ahead of you. Yes. If you hurry, mm. you will catch up with him. Let me tell you, this man was almost giving up. Now, because of the servant, he's focused. Yeah. They were told he's ahead. Don't give up. What you are looking for is what? Just ahead of you. Amen. The seer is ahead of you. Amen. The prophet is ahead of you. Amen. The one who is going to sort your solutions is ahead of you. Amen. The one that the Lord has put as, as a, a sign of concerning your life is ahead. Please Amen. don't give up. You are this far you have come from, you cannot give up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't give up. Verse number 14. Verse number 14. Mm. So Saul and his servant went on to the town. Mm. And as they were going in, mm. they saw Samuel come coming out towards them on his way to yes. the place of worship. Mm. Now, on the previous day, the Lord had told Let me tell you something I've learned from this scripture here. There is a timing. So, God has timing. So, if you delay, you not meet this man. So, this lady, this young woman told the, 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 the soul and the servant that go faster because he's almost getting to the, what? the chamber. When he get to the chamber, he's going to bless the food and people are going to eat. So, what you do? Go faster, meet him before he enter. Amen. So, God has timeline. So, what you need to do, do things according to the timeline of God. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. And they went, as they were told, and they met him. And before that, let me tell you, God is setting you up. What you are looking for, they were looking for donkey. They were looking for donkey. But they, they were looking for donkey, for the seer to see for them the donkey. Where the donkey is what? Where the fa their father lost the donkey, and they were now looking for the donkey. And now, after they reached the seer, what, the Bible said that what? Previous day, the Lord had told Samuel, I'm sending what? A Benjamite to you. Amen. I'm sending a Benjamite to you. Anoint him for me because the, 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 I have heard the cry of the children of Israel. This man, I'm going to use it out as what? As an army. Praise the Lord. Amen. As a commander. Amen. So him, he was thinking, he was looking for the donkey. You, you are thinking what you are going through. You are, you are, you are suffering. You, you are thinking what you are going through. The path you are following. You think that is what? That is not it. You are being set up. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Keep on going. Amen. Keep on moving. Amen. This year we see you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep on being on the path of God. Amen. Don't allow discouragers. Yes. Don't allow discouragers. Let, don't allow anybody that will take you out of the God path because the seer is ahead. Amen. The seer is ahead. Amen. The seer is ahead. Amen. Child of God, yes. it, it is not this far you have come from. Don't give up. The seer is just ahead of you. Amen. Uh -huh. Tomorrow about this time. Tomorrow about this time. I will send you a man from the tribe of Benjamin. Mm. Anoint him mm. as ruler of my people Israel. Mm. And he will rescue them from the Palestine. Amen. May the Lord send a seer Amen. that will anoint you. Amen. May the Lord send a seer Amen. that will anoint you. Amen. May the Lord send a seer Amen. that will anoint you. The Amen. one that will tell you what you are looking for Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, let's go to verse number 19. Verse number 19. Mm. And the Bible says, mm. Samuel answered, mm. I am the seer. Mm. Go on ahead of me to the place of worship. Yes. Both of you are to eat with me today. Mm. Tomorrow morning, I will answer all your questions and send you on your way. Shaka Borobos. He said, now things have changed. It is not the donkey anymore. It is not the donkey anymore they are looking for. Amen. They were now, if they were to be told what they have been looking for, what they have been asking God for, the God of remembrance has remembered them. Amen. They are now asking God, they have now met what? What they have been asking God for for years. Now, he said what? I am the seer. I am the seer. Go ahead of me to the place of worship. Saul asked him, Saul asked him, verse number 18. Verse number 18. Mm -hmm. Then Saul went over to Samuel. Mm -hmm. Who was near the gate and asked, yes. tell me where does the seer He didn't know. Be careful those whom you are talking to. Amen. You must be talking rude to the one that want to help you. Amen. He was asking the one that was supposed to help him that where is the seer? Amen. And that was the seer. Amen. That was the man who was, be careful how do you talk to people. Amen. The man that God has assigned upon your life to lift you from one place to the other is going to leave because the way you handled him. So he said, I am the seer. Amen. Oh, he said, go on ahead of me in the palace. Amen. Go, come and sit with me. Amen. Now I try to think according to my carnal mind. I try to think when this man was looking at what? This man was told to sit. He was looking at the donkey. How was it dressed? And the, 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 the seer did not look at the cloth. The seer saw what is in him. Amen. The problem we look at our outside condition, but what is in us, there is something in you that the seer is going to see. Amen. There is something that is in you, the seer is going to see. Amen. Child of God, God has put something on you. At the right time, he will unveil the curtain. Amen. He will unveil the curtain Amen. after you have suffered for a while. Yes. He will unveil the curtain and the seer will see it in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you read the book of, 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 of if you continue, continue verse number 20. Verse number 20. Mm -hmm. As for the donkeys that were lost three days ago, mm -hmm. don't worry about them. Don't worry about the donkeys. Uh -huh. They have already been found. They have already been found. But who is it? Number one thing I've learned from the scripture here, that this man was anointed for God's service first. For God's assignment. Then the assignment the father gave him, that will come later. So as we are anointed, what you God has given you, it is for him. Amen. What the Lord has given you, it is for him, not for you. Praise the living God. Amen. What God has given you, it is for him. Then your, 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 your need comes after. So the need of God first, a need from the Lord requires what? Commitment. Commitment. So it is a need of God first, then a need of a man. Because he was looking for the donkey. That was his need and the need of the father. But God anointed him because he wanted the children of the Israel. What? The children of Israel needed what? A commander. So that was the need of God. And then after the need of God, he was told later now. Now, what he was told now, the donkeys that you're looking for has been found. Don't be worried. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. If you go ahead and read the scripture until verse number 23, the Bible said that he was there were 30 guests special guest but he was rated higher than the 30 guests Amen. so he was there's i there, there's what there was a vip and the vvip so saul entered and sat on the seat of what vvip Amen. and even there was food that was prepared may the food be prepared for you Amen. May it be prepared for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, chapter 6, verse number 13, 
chapter 13, verse number 15, the Bible said that, and, and God swear by his name. He swear and said, in blessing, I will bless you. And the Bible said that what? After he what? He has been patient. A Abraham was patient. Abraham was patient. And God God fulfill the promise. Praise the living God. Amen. There is a journey you are following right now. Yes. There is a path you are following right now. But after you have been patient for a while, after you have been patient for a while, God will fulfill his promise concerning your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't give up, child of God. Amen. It is not time to give up. Amen. It is not time to give up. Amen. There is something that you need to do. Amen. There is something we need to do. Amen. Genesis chapter 22, verse number 15 to, to, to 18. Genesis chapter 22. Because then they keep on looking for donkey. They keep on looking. There is something you need to do even when you're about when you're about to when, when you're about to give up. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 22 from verse 15. Yes. And the Bible says, mm. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham mm. out of heaven the second time mm. and said, by myself I have sworn, Yes. said the Lord, mm. for because you have done this thing, you have done this thing, and have not withheld your son, mm. your only son, mm. that is blessing, mm. that in blessing I will bless you, mm. and in multiplying I will multiply your seed. So what I'm learning from the scripture here, after congratulations, Abraham waited for about 100 years and he got a child. The same child, the Lord told him to God, go and sacrifice the only son you have. Even God himself did the same. He sacrificed, go and sacrifice your own. So when Abraham left and said, today, the Lord, the, he said, the Lord is the one who gave me this child. What God has given you, when he asks you for it, give it back. He will give you another one. Amen. What God has asked from you, give it to him. Because it is his, it is not yours. The money God has given you, it is his, it is not yours. Amen. Give it to him because he will still provide. Abraham decided, let me do what? Let me go and give it to him. He did something. The Bible said, because you have done this thing. There is this thing that you need to do for Amen. God, for the seer to see you. Amen. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Hallelujah. Amen. What are you doing? Because he did that thing until the angel of the Lord saw him. The angel is the, the instruments of the Lord. They are the servant of the Lord. They saw him and they swear by his name because you have done this thing. What are you doing, child of God? What are you doing where you are? Be still. You will be tested. You will be, even after congratulation, Abraham, after receiving a child, after getting a child, after 100 years, he was still tested. He was still tested. Some of us will be tested with testimony and will remain with the, in, the, in, the, in, the what? in the level of congratulation. Some of us, we over-celebrate too much. Don't over oh no, celebrate too much because there is another level Amen. hallelujah Amen. there is another level praise the lord Amen. there is another level praise the living god Amen. you will be tested somebody read for me the book of zachariah chapter 13 verse number 19 good news version you must survive the test for you to be congratulated and even after congratulation this test abraham received a child and they were very happy they got a child and that they got a child after getting a child again is this being told take the same child and go and do sac what sacrifice the same child uh -huh. zachariah 13 9, 9. chapter 13 verse 9 good news version and the bible says uh -huh. and i will test the third that survives and will purify them as silver is purified. Hey, the third is only the number one, two, three, are the one being tested, not Amen. number four. The, the best are being tested. Amen. The number one, two, three are survived. So if they were only looking for three people, number four cannot be tested because you have not survived. So you must survive the test first Amen. so that you can be what? You can be refined as what? As silver is refined, you can be tested as gold, gold is what? Tested. Praise the living God. Amen. And after that, you will call upon the name of the Lord and you will not. He will answer you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 9 to 10, it says, whatever you are going through, child of God, it is not new. It is not new because after you have suffered for a while, God will establish you. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. After preparation, there is appearance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. After preparation, there is what? Appearance. So after Abraham was prepared, he appeared. He, he, after all this, the, he appeared. After preparation, Saul appeared. He was being prepared in the journey that he was walking. And then he what? He was, he appeared. 
So after you have gone through all, there's a season of what? Appearing. Amen. Preparation, then appearance. Amen. So my subtopic here is after preparation, there is what? Amen. Appearance. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May you appear. Amen. May you appear in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not miss to appear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In this in the appearing process, number one, do that thing. In the appearing process, do that thing there is something that you need to do hallelujah Amen. there is something i need to do there is something that you need to do let's go to the book of uh, sec uh, the book of genesis chapter genesis chapter 6 genesis chapter 22 from verse number 6 to 13 then we jump to 15. genesis chapter 22 mm. from verse number 6 mm. and the bible says mm -hmm. And Abraham took the wood mm. of the burnt offering mm -hmm. and laid it on Isaac his son. Mm -hmm. And he took the fire in his hand mm -hmm. and a knife, mm -hmm. and they went both of them together. Mm -hmm. And Isaac spoke to Abraham his father mm -hmm. and said, mm -hmm. My father. Mm -hmm. And he said, mm -hmm. Here I am, my mm -hmm. son. Mm -hmm. And he said, mm -hmm. Behold, the fire and the wood. Mm -hmm. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Yes. And Abraham said, My son, mm. God will provide himself a lamb for the burnt offering. Uh -huh. So they went both of them together. Mm -hmm. And they came to a place which God had told him of. Mm. And, uh, and Abraham built an altar there mm. and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, mm -hmm. his son, mm -hmm. and laid him on the altar on the wood. Mm -hmm. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to, to slay his son. Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord called him out of heaven and mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. And he said, mm -hmm. here I am. Mm -hmm. And he said, lay not your hand on the lad, mm -hmm. neither do you anything to him. Mm -hmm. For now I know that you fear God. For now I know that you fear God. You have not withheld your son, mm -hmm. your only son from me. Yes. And Abraham lifted up his eyes mm -hmm. and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. Hallelujah. And Abraham went and took the ram mm -hmm. and offered him up for the burnt offering in the instead of his son. Verse number 15. Verse number 15. Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord called Abraham out of heaven the second, second time. time uh -huh. And say, mm -hmm. by myself I have sworn. Yes. Say the Lord. Yes. For because you have done this because thing. Because you have done this thing. So Abraham had was given a child. Amen. And the only child he was given at the old age, he was again tested to go and do what? To go and sacrifice because that was the only path for his appearance. Amen. That was the preparation for his appearance. After celebration, there was another test for him to appear. So there is, do this thing, there is something for you to do that is covering your appearance. So there is something that, child of God, you must do something that your, your appearance will be, will be, and curtain will be unveiled, the curtain, of, the curtain of blessing. After he did that thing, the Lord said, because you have done this thing, I have sweared today, I know today, you fear the Lord. You, you have not withheld all. Some of us, you are withholding all. There is something you need to do, Amen. child of God. There is something that has made you not to appear. There is something that has made blessing not to be unveiled to you. There is something that has made you to stay in that stage for long because there is something you are not doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Do that thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is a sacrifice you need to offer to the Lord. That is that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even when you go to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse number 5, there is something they did. When, when, when Saul gave up and he said, I am, well, let's go back. My father will now stop looking at the donkey and think about me. And they, they said that, let's go back. And the servant said, now, Lord, there is a seer. Amen. The seer, in the case of Abraham, the seer was an angel of the Lord. The Lord sent his angel to see. There are angels that are seeing, what are you doing that will make you to be taken, will make the curtain to be to be opened, the curtain of, to be unveiled, praise the living God. Amen. And during the time of Saul, there was a seer that was Samuel that was to see to unveil the curtain. Now, when they walk with this man and he got tired, and the man said, no, look, wait. There is a seer in this city that what he said will come to pass. And he's asking him and said, now what, do we, what, what will he give him? What are we going to give him? And the man said that I have some coins. I have some coins, shekels of coin with me that we are going to give him. After they had, that is the thing that they had to do. Yeah. What are you doing in the situation where you are? Yeah. What are you doing? Do that 
thing. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Do that thing Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let's read the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse number 23. There is something, there's a sacrifice provoke the spirit to God. Sacrifice. A sac what you're giving God need to be clean. What you're giving God need to be clean. What you're giving God, because the altar will react, child of God. Some of us, we are giving God things that are not holy. The altar has already reacted. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 5. From verse 23. Mm. And the Bible says, mm. Therefore, mm. if you bring your gift to the altar, if you bring, what you are, that thing is a gift that you're giving to the God in the Amen. altar. Uh -huh. And there remember that your brother has ought against you. Mm. Leave there your gift before the altar mm. and go your way. Mm. First be reconciled to your brother mm -hmm. and then come and offer your gift. I was watching another movie. A man was rested in the village and they were told go and bring this man to be go and bring a man to be sacrificed and when he was taken to be sacrificed when he reached the altar the the, 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 the other altar of the other world so when he was taken there they brought him the man the, 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 the man was there the priests the priest of the witch that was there told them this man can only produce counterfeit money it means it's not worth so what we give that thing you are doing does it produce the counterfeit or does it produce the original? Praise the living God. Amen. So what you are doing should be what? He said that when you come to give God gift in the altar, you realize there is something tying you, go back and reconcile and do what? Come and give it when you are free. Because the altar will react against you. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Check yourself. Now let's go to the book of Malachi chapter 1 verse number 8. Child of God, what you are bringing is a holy God altar is holy when you're bringing things that are not holy you defy the altar and the altar will react you will it will be like invaders or intruders in the altar and that is why the altar has reacted to so many people your blessing is not a blessing it turned into a curse because what how you are giving it malachi chapter 1 verse number 8 malachi chapter 1 verse number 8 mm. and the bible says yes and if you offer the blind for sacrifice if you offer the blind for what for sacrifice if you give god a blind what you're giving is always blind. Eh? Is it not evil? Is it not evil? And if you offer the lame and sick, yes. Is it not evil? Is it not evil? Offer it now to your governor. Try to your governor and will, see. Will he be pleased with you? Yes. Or accept your person? Mm. Say the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. So what you are doing, that thing that you are doing should be something that what? Should provoke the spirit. What is it that you are doing right now? That thing Abraham gave the only that he was given. Praise the Lord. Amen. What is it that you are doing? Which sacrifice are you offering? Look at the man called so, uh, look at the man called without 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 without, without the progress of of of, 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 of Moses, the, the Moses had to have Pharaoh. Pharaoh had to be there for Saul, for some Moses. Pharaoh had to be there for Moses. Pharaoh had to be there for Moses to keep him on check. For, for the Potiphar was to be there. Potiphar had to be there for Joseph. The man called Haman had to be there for Mordecai. Child of God. Keep on. Some Joseph will keep on dreaming freely. He keep on dreaming freely until the seer saw him. What is this thing that you are doing before the seer sees you? There is a seer. Amen. Number two, there is a seer. Amen. Appearing process, a seer will be there. Amen. So after you have done this thing, remember there's a seer. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you go back to the same scripture we have just read, 1 Samuel chapter 19, chapter 9 from verse number 15 to 20. After preparation, there is a appearing process. 1 Samuel chapter 9 from, from verse 15 to 20. Yes. And the Bible says, mm. Now the Lord had told Samuel in the ear mm. a day before a day before Saul came, yes. saying, mm. Tomorrow about this time, tomorrow about this time, I will send you a man out of the land of Benjamin. He was already seen because he passed the test. Amen. If the man would have given up. Most of us, you give up before you reach the point of the seer, the point of unveil, the point of appearance. You don't appear. You only reach the celebration after celebrating that that what that level. You say it is enough for me. Most of us we have reached that level. You didn't get the level. What do that thing after doing that thing? The seer will see you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow about this time. Tomorrow about this I time. Will send you a man out. The Lord has already sent a seer. 
Hey, I said the Lord has already sent a seer. Amen. Tomorrow about this time, wherever you are going to go this week, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. there is a seer that is going to see what Amen. you've been asking God for. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you shall anoint him to be captain over my people Israel. Yes. That he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. Mm. For I have looked on my people because the cry is come to me. The seer saw David when David was looking for the what? The animal. It doesn't matter your, your look. It doesn't matter your physique. It doesn't matter your dressing code. The seer will see what is inside, not what is outside. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Uh -huh. And when Samuel saw Saul, mm. the Lord said to him, Behold the man whom I spoke to you of. Mm. This same shall reign over my people. Yes. This man that was looking for the donkey shall reign over my people. First Samuel chapter 16, verse number 11. Makala bro seke. There is somebody here that I've been giving up. You are in the verge of giving up. Don't give up. The far you have come from, there is a seer child of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. First Samuel chapter. You have struggled in the marriage. You have struggled in the business. You have struggled in the ministry. People have frustrated you. I'm telling you, the world has frustrated you. There is a seer. Do that thing. The seer will see you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. Chapter 16, mm. verse 11. Yes. And the Bible says, mm. And Samuel said to Jesse, And Samuel said to Jesse, And hear all your children. And hear all your children. And he said, mm. There remains yet the youngest. Mm -hmm. And behold, he keeps the sheep. The men saw the others. <laughs> hey, there were seven that was seen before. From chapter, from verse number seven, eleven, from verse number seven, start, start from verse number seven. Caprato te prate. The the man can see you. Let the man know there is a seer that God has given eyes to see, not a seer of a man. Men can see you and can take you nowhere. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said to Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel. Look not on his countenance. Look not in his countenance. Or on the height of his stature. Yes. Because a man's nature is to look at the outside. Mm -hmm. Because I have refused him. I have refused him. For the Lord sees not as the man sees. Yes. For the man looks on the outward appearance. Mm -hmm. But the Lord looks on the heart. Mm -hmm. Then Jesse called Abinadab mm -hmm. and made him pass before Samuel. Yes. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this. That one was not seen. Then Jesse made Shama to pass. That one was not seen. And he said, Neither has the Lord Shaka chosen this. Shaka Labarabose. Mm -hmm. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons pass. Seven passed. That one was not seen. The seer is looking for the one that is not around. It doesn't matter. You can be close and you're too far. And you can be too far and too close. Hey, yeah. The seer will see your heart. There is something the seer is looking for. When they were there busy, when they were there busy, sitting, arranging, dressing well, the, the one was doing the thing. He was doing a shepherd thing. What are you doing for the seer to see? you what are you doing in this condition hallelujah Amen. Uh -huh. and someone said to jesse and someone said to jesse are here all your children yes and he said yes there remains yet the youngest they remain the youngest and behold he keeps the sheep he's doing that thing Amen. He is doing that thing. Amen. Keeping the sheep. You that is doing the thing. May the seer begin to see you. Amen. I say may the seer begin to see you. Amen. The curtain of blessing will be unfolded. Amen. The curtain of blessing will be unfolded. Amen. This month, this month, this month, this week, this week, tonight, the seer will see you. Amen. May his eyes open to see you. Amen. May his eyes open to see you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a seer child of God. The third point as I finish now. The third point as I finish now the blessing of multiplication after the seer have seen you after you have done that thing the seer will see the, there is a seer and now the blessing of multiplication let's go to the book of genesis chapter 22 verse number 16 and 18 i want to finish now the bible says mm. genesis chapter 22 verse 16 mm. and say mm. by myself i have sworn by myself i have sworn say the lord say the lord for because you have done this thing because you have done this thing and have not with help i have son. seen you i have swear you have not i have seen you have not with help your only son what the lord has given you you have not hold with him. you have not refused with it eh? That in blessing, mm. I will bless you. In blessing, I will bless you. And in multiplying, I will multiply. Now listen to me. In bless Because you have done this thing, you have not withheld what God has given you. In blessing, I will do what? I will, I will bless, bless you. you. And in multiplication, I will do what? Multiply. So the blessing of the multiplication will locate you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. 
In blessing, I will bless you. And in multiplying, I will multiply. The blessing. blessing of multiplication is your portion. Because you have done this thing, may the seer's eyes open. And the blessing of multiplication, Hebrews chapter 6, verse number 13 to 15. I'm winding up now. Maka parabo seketege. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Zeporo kanta. Verse number 13. Verse number 13. To 15. Uh -huh. The Bible says, uh -huh. For when God made promise to Abraham, every promise the Lord has made, life is like a blueprint. Amen. There is nothing the Lord will say and will not come to pass. Uh huh. For when God made promise to Abraham, yes. because he could swear by no greater, yes. he swore by himself, uh -huh. saying, uh -huh. Surely blessing I will he bless you. He said, Surely blessing I will bless you. And multiplying I and multiply, multiply I will multiply you. And so after he had patiently endured, after you have gone through all this, surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you. So the blessing of multiplication follow after doing that thing, and the seer sees you, and now you enter the season of what? Blessing of multiplication. Yeah. Genesis chapter 12, verse number 1, 2, and 3. As I finish now, Shaka Parabot. Lepanto prokoto take a day. Some child of God, don't give up. Don't give up. The far you have come from, don't give up. Don't give up. Say, I am not giving up. I am not, I am not giving up. This far I have come from, I am waiting for my seer. My seer must see me. I will continue doing that thing for the seer to see me so that I enter with the blessing of multiplication. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 12. Mm -hmm. From verse number one, the Lord has said to Abraham. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, Get you out of your country. Get you out of your country. And from your kindred. And from your kindred. And from your father's house. And from your father's house. To the land that I will show. To the you. land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation. And I will make of you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will bless and you. And make your name great. After you have done that thing, Amen. the seer will see you, and the seer will bless you. The seer will advertise you, child of God. May the Lord advertise you. Amen. In this nation, may the Lord advertise you. Amen. Where you have been covered, you are you, the curtain is being removed today. Amen. The seer has seen you. Amen. May the seer see you. Whatever has been preserved for you, may you begin to receive it. Amen. May you begin to receive it. Amen. I say, may the seer begin to see you. Amen. The Bible said that, and I will bless you, and I will multiply you. May the blessing of multiplication be your portion. Amen. May the blessing of multiplication be your portion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for you, child of God. Yes. That business that has never been seen. Yes. The Lord is going to advertise it. Amen. The Lord is going to advertise it. Amen. The Lord is advertising it today. Amen. Because you have done this thing, yes. the Lord is going to advertise it. Amen. Your name will be exalted. Amen. Your name will be advertised. Amen. The nations will come for you. Amen. The cities will come for you. Amen. The doors will begin to open. Amen. The doors will begin to open. Amen. The doors will begin to open. Amen. Child of God, yes. your time has come. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. You will not miss your seer. Amen. You will not miss your seer. Amen. The seer will call you Amen. among the 30. Yes. You will be the special guest. Amen. Among the 30 special guests, Amen. you will be special, Amen. the most special one. Amen. You will be highly exalted. Amen. You will be highly favored. Amen. You will be highly favored. The God has remembered you. Yes. May God remember you. Amen. The one who remembered Rachel, yes. he has remembered you. Amen. He has remembered you. Amen. He will answer your prayers. Amen. He will answer your prayers. Amen. No more shame. Amen. No more shame. Amen. The sea has seen you. He the Lord is going to do things you have never seen. Amen. It will be like a dream child of God. Amen. Keep on, keep on, keep on, be on the right path. Amen. I pray for God to give you people with vision. Amen. People that will carry your burden. Amen. People that will not get tired with you. Amen. People that will not backbite you. Amen. People that will not look down upon you. Even if you fall, they will help you to arise. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord send them on your path. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word that has come forth. We give you glory and all the honor. All the glory, all the praise belongs to you. Not to any other person, not to me. I give them all to you. Receive them all. Receive them all, my Lord. In the name of Jesus, because the word is yours. The declaration, the prophecy, everything is yours, O oh God. And every word that you have spoken today, may it not fall on the ground. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we give you glory. The Lord will not give up again, because we are entering the season of multiplication. The blessing of multiplication. May we not, may our seers open their eyes to see us. Wherever they are this week, may our seers begin to see us. Wherever you go this week, the seer will see you. They will not fail to see you. The seers will see you. May the Lord send to people 
people upon our life that have vision. Those will hold our hands. Those will walk with us. They may not give us partners that will hold our hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Child of God, share it, like it, and subscribe it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom till we meet again.